Imagine discovering an animal so strange that it breaks every rule of classification you know. That is exactly what happened when paleontologists first encountered Toxodon fossils in South America. It had the body of a rhinoceros, the lifestyle of a hippopotamus, and teeth that curved in ways no living mammal possesses. For over 11 million years, these giants engineered entire grassland ecosystems, surviving ice ages and predators that would terrify any modern animal. Then suddenly they were gone. In 1833, a young Charles Darwin stumbled upon a fossil skull in Uruguay that would challenge everything scientists thought they knew about animal classification. The 24-year-old naturalist was exploring the South American coastline aboard HMS Beagle when he encountered a local farmer selling mysterious bones. For just 18 pence, Darwin purchased what would become one of the most important fossils in paleontological history. This Toxodon platensis skull defied every classification system of the time, leaving even Darwin himself completely baffled by what he had discovered. The skull presented an anatomical puzzle that seemed impossible to solve. Darwin later described Toxodon as perhaps one of the strangest animals ever discovered, and his confusion was entirely justified. The creature's massive size suggested it belonged with elephants and other pachyderms, yet its teeth structure resembled those of rodents like capybaras. Even more puzzling was the bone density and nostril placement, which indicated an aquatic lifestyle similar to dugongs or manatees. These features borrowed from completely different animal families all combined into one creature that should not have existed according to existing scientific knowledge. Darwin's journal entries reveal his specific observations about these contradictory features. He noted that the animal's eyes, ears and nostrils were positioned like those of aquatic mammals, while its overall skeletal structure suggested a terrestrial giant. The teeth particularly fascinated him because they curved in ways no living animal possessed, yet they clearly belonged to a herbivore. This discovery sparked intense debates about evolution and natural selection, with Toxodon becoming a key piece of evidence for Darwin's developing theories about how species could change over time. The scientific chaos this created was unprecedented. Paleontologists desperately tried to force Toxodon into existing classifications, only to fail repeatedly. Some argued it was a giant rodent, others insisted it was an aquatic mammal, and still others claimed it belonged with the elephant family. Each attempt to categorize the creature revealed new contradictions that made classification impossible using traditional methods. Eventually, scientists realized that Toxodon belonged to an entirely unknown order of mammals called Notungulata, which existed nowhere else on Earth. This order represented over 150 described genera across 13 different families, proving that South America had evolved its own unique branch of large mammals, completely separate from anything in Europe or North America. Darwin's impossible animal had revealed an entire hidden chapter of mammalian evolution. Toxodon's body plan was so bizarre that it looked like nature had taken parts from three different animals and somehow made them work together. Standing nearly six feet tall, almost 1.8 meters, and stretching 10 feet long, the 3.05 meters, Toxodon combined the bulk of a rhinoceros, the semi-aquatic adaptations of a hippopotamus, and the massive limbs of an elephant. These seemingly incompatible features should have made Toxodon an evolutionary failure, yet somehow this chimera thrived for millions of years across South America's diverse landscapes. The rhinoceros-like features dominated Toxodon's appearance and function. Its massive barrel-shaped body could reach weights of up to 3,120 pounds supported by a robust skeletal framework designed for processing enormous quantities of tough vegetation. The vertebrae were equipped with high apophyses that provided attachment points for the powerful muscles needed to support its massive head and neck. This thick set build allowed Toxodon to push through dense vegetation and withstand the physical demands of constant grazing on abrasive plant material. The hippopotamus characteristics revealed themselves in Toxodon's semi-aquatic adaptations. The bone density suggested these animals spent significant time in water, likely using rivers and lakes as refuges from predators and heat. The placement of nostrils indicated an ability to breathe while partially submerged, similar to modern hippos. 
The short, vaguely hippopotamus-like head featured broad jaws perfectly suited for aquatic feeding behaviors, allowing Toxodon to exploit food sources, both on land and in shallow water environments. The elephant-like adaptations appeared most clearly in Toxodon's limb structure and locomotion. The pillar-like legs supported enormous weight through a plantigrade foot posture where the entire foot made contact with the ground. This foot structure with three functional toes distributed the animal's massive weight efficiently across varied terrain. The hind limbs were longer than the front limbs, giving the body a characteristic sloped appearance that enhanced stability while feeding on low growing vegetation. The unique curved teeth set Toxodon apart from any modern animal, earning it the name that literally means bow tooth. These continuously growing self-sharpening tools were perfectly adapted for grinding coarse grasses and tough plant fibers. The bow-shaped teeth had no roots and grew throughout the animal's lifetime, similar to rodent incisors, but designed for lateral grinding rather than gnawing. The broad jaws accommodated these specialized teeth, creating a powerful grinding mechanism that could process the fibrous vegetation of South American grasslands. The molar teeth often exhibited enamel hyperplasia, suggesting that Toxodon faced periodic nutritional stress or seasonal food shortages. This dental evidence reveals the challenging conditions these animals endured while maintaining their massive size. The ever-growing nature of their teeth compensated for the constant wear from processing silica-rich grasses, ensuring they could continue feeding effectively throughout their lives. These contradictory features actually created the perfect South American herbivore capable of exploiting ecological niches no other animal could fill. Toxodon could graze in open grasslands like a rhinoceros retreat to water like a hippopotamus and move across varied terrain like an elephant. This uh, versatility allowed them to thrive in environments ranging from the Amazon rainforest to the Patagonian steppes. Toxodon's chimera-like body was not a biological mistake, but rather a masterpiece of evolutionary engineering perfectly suited for the diverse landscapes of prehistoric South America. The combination of terrestrial power, aquatic refugee capability, and specialized feeding adaptations created an animal uniquely equipped for success in the continent's varied ecosystems. These remarkable adaptations allowed Toxodon to become one of the most successful large mammals in South American history, dominating the landscape for millions of years. Toxodon did not just live in South America's grasslands, it created them shaping entire landscapes through its daily activities. As landscape engineers, these massive herbivores transformed millions of acres, more than 445,000 hectares of terrain through their grazing patterns, creating the vast pampas that would define South America. This ecological dominance made Toxodon incredibly successful, but also created a dangerous dependency. The ecosystems they shaped became reliant on their presence. Toxodon's grazing habits prevented forests from encroaching on grasslands, maintaining open spaces that supported diverse communities of smaller animals. Their constant browse created a mosaic of vegetation types from short grass prairies to scattered woodland patches. This habitat diversity provided nesting sites for ground bird shelter, for small mammals, and feeding areas for insects that form the foundation of complex food webs. Without Toxodon's continuous grazing pressure, these open landscapes would have gradually transformed into dense forests, eliminating the specialized grassland species that had evolved to thrive in these environments. The feeding efficiency of these giants was remarkable. Toxodon could process up to 300 pounds of vegetation daily with specialized gut bacteria that could break down the toughest plant fibers. Their digestive system functioned like a massive fermentation chamber housing billions of microorganisms that converted cellulose into usable energy. This biological process allowed them to extract nutrition from grasses that other herbivores could not digest, giving them access to food sources unavailable to competitors. Their role in nutrient cycling was equally important. Toxodon spread seeds across vast distances and fertilized the landscape, essentially acting as biological bulldozers that maintained ecosystem balance. Their dung deposits created nutrient-rich patches that supported different plant communities while their trampling activities disturbed soil and created microsites for seed germination. This constant movement and feeding behavior essentially redesigned the landscape on a continental scale.
Their adaptation to different environments showcased remarkable dietary flexibility. In Amazon rainforest, they primarily browsed on leaves and soft shoots, while in the Chaco region, they adopted pure grazing behavior on tough grasses. This versatility allowed them to exploit different ecological niches across South America's diverse landscapes. However, this ecosystem engineering brought them into direct conflict with formidable predators who had evolved specifically to hunt these giants. Toxodon's success as landscape engineers made them keystone species whose presence was essential for maintaining the ecological balance of Ice Age South America, but their massive size and predictable behavior patterns made them the ultimate prize in the prehistoric food chain. The relationship between Toxodon and Smilodon represented one of the most dramatic predator-prey dynamics in prehistoric South America. Smilodon fatalis, the infamous saber-toothed cat, had evolved specifically to take down megafauna like Toxodon, creating an evolutionary arms race that lasted millions of years. Despite weighing nearly four times as much as their predators, Toxodon faced constant threat from these specialized killers who had perfected the art of hunting giants. Smilodon employed a sophisticated hunting strategy to target these massive herbivores. Their 7-inch, 17.8-centimeter canine teeth functioned like precision daggers designed to deliver killing bites to the throat or belly of large prey. Rather than attempting to overpower Toxodon through brute force, these cats relied on stealth and surgical strikes. They avoided direct confrontation with Toxodon's dangerous defensive capabilities, instead targeting vulnerable areas where their specialized teeth could penetrate thick hide and reach vital organs. This hunting technique required incredible precision because a missed attack could prove fatal when facing an animal weighing nearly two tons. Fossil evidence reveals the intensity of these encounters. Toxodon fossils show healed bite marks, indicating that many individuals survived initial attacks from saber-toothed cats. These scars tell stories of desperate battles where massive herbivores fought for their lives against determined predators. Meanwhile, Smelodon fossils reveal specific adaptations for hunting large, thick-skinned prey. Their skull structure, muscle attachments, and jaw mechanics all point to evolutionary modifications designed for taking down giants like Toxodon. Toxodon possessed formidable defensive adaptations that made them challenging prey. Their thick hide could deflect claws and smaller teeth, while their powerful limbs were capable of crushing attacks from predators. Evidence suggests they may have employed herd behavior that provided protection through the numbers, making it difficult for solitary hunters to isolate individual targets. When threatened, these giants could use their massive size and strength to devastating effect. The broader predator community made Ice Age South America a dangerous place for even the largest herbivores. Giant short-faced bears, terror birds, and other formidable hunters created a complex ecosystem where various predators competed for the same prey. This multi-predator environment meant that Toxodon faced threats from multiple directions requiring constant vigilance and adaptive strategies for survival. The evolutionary arms race between Toxodon and its predators had created a finely balanced ecosystem that had remained stable for millions of years. Predators and prey had reached an equilibrium where both sides possessed the tools necessary for survival. However, external forces were about to disrupt this ancient balance, setting the stage for catastrophic changes that would ultimately doom both predator and prey in South America's megafauna community. Around 12,000 years ago, a series of catastrophic changes converged to create the perfect conditions for Toxodon's extinction. The end of the Ice Age brought dramatic climate shifts, the arrival of human hunters and new predators from North America through the newly formed land bridge. Scientists still debate which of these factors delivered the killing blow to Toxodon as evidence points to a complex web of interconnected pressures rather than a single cause. Climate change fundamentally altered the world Toxodon had dominated for millions of years. Rising temperatures and shifting precipitation patterns destroyed the grassland ecosystems these giants had engineered and depended upon. The Brazilian Northeast experienced particularly intense precipitation oscillations, which may have been decisive in eliminating open habitat megafauna from that region. 
These climate shifts directly attacked the foundation of Toxodon's survival strategy, transforming their carefully maintained grasslands into forests and wetlands, where their massive size became a liability rather than an advantage. The human arrival theory presents compelling but limited evidence. Archaeological discoveries reveal arrowheads found with Toxodon fossils, providing direct proof that early humans hunted these massive herbivores, these Paleo-Indian hunters, possessed sophisticated stone tools and hunting techniques capable of taking down megafauna. However, the lack of widespread kill sites for Toxodon compared to other extinct species complicates our understanding of human impact on their populations. The Great American Biotic Interchange introduced an entirely new dimension of threat. The formation of the Isthmus of Panama allowed North American predators and competitors to invade South America, disrupting ecosystems that had evolved in isolation for millions of years. This biological invasion brought new hunting strategies and competitive pressures that South American megafauna had never encountered. The delicate balance between predator and prey that had sustained Toxodon for millennia suddenly faced unprecedented disruption. Disease presents another potential extinction factor. Pathogens carried by incoming species or humans could have introduced deadly illnesses to which South American megafauna had no immunity. Without previous exposure to these foreign diseases, Toxodon populations would have been completely vulnerable to epidemic outbreaks that could devastate entire herds. Recent research reveals that the extinction was not instantaneous, but rather a gradual collapse over several thousand years. Different regions experienced varying timelines of megafauna disappearance, suggesting that local conditions determined survival rates. Some populations may have persisted in refugia before finally succumbing to mounting pressures. The extinction of Toxodon represents one of paleontology's greatest unsolved mysteries with the true cause, likely being a combination of all these factors creating an inescapable perfect storm. This ancient catastrophe offers crucial insights into how rapidly successful species can vanish when multiple environmental pressures converge simultaneously. The story of Toxodon serves as a sobering warning about how quickly successful species can vanish when faced with rapid environmental changes. This massive herbivore dominated South America for millions of years, yet disappeared within a few thousand years when multiple pressures converged. Modern conservation efforts face similar challenges as climate change, habitat destruction, and human activities threaten countless species today. This ancient mystery continues reshaping our understanding of evolution extinction and the delicate balance maintaining Earth's ecosystems. Toxodon's story reveals how even the most successful creatures can succumb to environmental shifts they cannot adapt to quickly enough. Somewhere in South America's fossil-rich sediments, more Toxodon secrets await discovery.